It is war. The world's least happy millionaire, Prince Harry, has released a trailer for his highly anticipated documentary, snappily titled Harry and Meghan, although I think it should be called Meghan and Harry because it's clear to me she's calling the shots. Take a listen. No one sees what's happening behind closed doors. I had to do everything I could to protect my family. When the stakes are this high, doesn't it make more sense to hear our story from us? I'll probably give that one a miss. I'll be washing my hair. The timing of this promo couldn't be worse, as Harry's brother and sister-in-law, William and Kate, tour the United States of America. In fact, the Prince and Princess of Wales have been greeted with jeers and boos in some quarters following their arrival stateside. Why would that be? Well, because Harry and Meghan have done everything they can to denigrate the royal family and the monarchy. Perhaps the firm were neglectful in their treatment of Meghan Markle when she served the royal family. Perhaps a member of the royal household did make a remark about the baby which could be construed as racist. Who knows? Although given the outright lie from the Oprah interview that they married a day early, refuted by no less than the Archbishop of Canterbury, you couldn't really call Meghan Markle a reliable witness. But I will give her the benefit of the doubt. If she was unhappy whilst serving as a member of the royal household, that's very sad. But they got what they wanted in the end. They are out. They've gone to America. They've signed their book deals. They've had the documentary commissioned. They've done the podcasts and they've taken money for public speaking engagements. All whilst retaining the coveted title of Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They got their cake and they ate it. But nothing will satisfy this couple who seem hellbent on not just profiteering from the royal vestiges. Remember, the world media would have no interest in this couple if they weren't members of the royal family. Uh, they seem hellbent on not just denigrating the monarchy, but destroying it too. The ginger winger himself, Prince Harry, and his other half, Yoko Mono, the woman who broke up the royal Beatles, have reached the point of no return. There's no way that Charles will forgive Harry, particularly given the news of his forthcoming book, which, of course, emerged whilst the Queen battled ill health and mourned the passing of her beloved Philip, no doubt causing her deep distress. I can't imagine it helped her health either. Whilst it's my view that Meghan is driving this campaign against a country and an institution, responsibility must lie with Harry. Meghan is Meghan, but Harry is the one that has allowed this country and the institution, which has given him untold privilege, to be so viciously attacked. It's happened on his watch, and therefore he's the one I blame. It's obvious their royal titles have to go, but I'm not sure it will make much of a difference now. They are two of the most famous people in the world, thanks to the institution, which they clearly hate so much. But whilst making millions, this couple have lost so much. They've lost a family, they've lost a revered institution, and they've lost a country. Harry and Meghan have reached the point of no return. It's the end of the affair. It's over. And it's too late now to kiss and make up.